Hello guys! Welcome back again to my travel blog. I'm so fortunate that I was able to visit South Island again for the second time in the same year 2023. And of course, this was just extra special because I'm with my partner as my travel buddy. This travel had no itinerary at all. It was just spontaneous and chill. Our plan was basically go on a road trip from Christchurch to Queenstown with few stopovers along the way. Just go with the flow or whatever our ride will take us. We bought some groceries and we booked an accommodation with kitchen so we could cook to minimize our expenses. We also hired a car from Omega that made our road trip possible. As for our first accommodation, we're in Sky Blue Tecapo. I will give you a quick tour and an honest review. Overall, I really like the place. The unit is modern, spacious, with quiet neighborhood, clean, with complete basic kitchen stuff that we needed. The car part is just beside the unit. I could rate this a 9.5 out of 10 just because the location is a bit far from the lake but still not an issue if you have a car. By the way, Christchurch to Lake Tecapo was almost 3 hours of drive. It was so nice to visit South Island again in a different season because every season offers unique experiences like last winter we experienced snow but this spring season everything was just colorful and lively all the flowers starting to bloom and there's lupin flowers We spent two days exploring Lake Tegapo. This time, we're on our way to Wanaka. The drive was just two hours and a quarter. Most of the time, we're just on a spontaneous road trip. I really appreciate this kind of travel cause there's no stress at all. No expectations, no time pressure, just chilling and having fun. It's a bit of a long drive but you wouldn't mind cause you will pass to a stunning scenery icy mountains of Mount Cook. It was so lovely to see Wanaka tree in a different and most beautiful way cause last winter this tree was so dry. Our home cooked meals should be Filipino foods, of course. For our second accommodation, we stayed at one bedroom apartment of West Meadows Motel in Wanaka. I really like their spacious shower room. They have big mirrors, it's clean, modern, with basic kitchen stuff, very efficient for two people. I love their bed, so soft and comfy. Overall, for me, it's an 8.5 out of 10 just because the car park was a bit far so it's just a bit hassle if you have lots of things to unload and it's a few minutes drive from Wanaka CBD but still no issue if you have car.
we fell in love with Wanaka. We said that if we will have a chance to buy a rest house or vacation home in South Island, we will choose in Wanaka. It's less crowded compared to Queenstown but their nature beauty is equal. In Queenstown, it's more of a tourist destination. But in Wanaka, it feels much more homey and peaceful. But of course, it's just our personal opinion and personal preferences. If you are looking for some fun and unique things to do, Visit Fuzzling World in Wanaka. It's good for the eyes and mind. <laughs> Wave! Is it normal now? Do not stand. Just because it's like mm. on an angle, but you don't, you can't tell. Your brain just doesn't cooperate. It's confused. Yeah. Is it the same? Sensation. It looks like they're all following. All oh. Looking at it. <laughs> and different expressions.
I'm full. Kit Kat So, we tried their amazing maze. It seems easy to do at first cause we're able to find all the 4 tower colors within 30 minutes but then we had so much difficulty finding the exit so after almost 1 hour I guess of trying to get out, we gave up and didn't finish the maze. We got tired and want to reserve our energy for the day. Also, it's getting hotter and hotter the longer we stay. Overall, if you are looking for unique and fun activity in Wanaka, and if you love arts, then this is for you. It was a fun day for us, so my rate will be 8.5 out of 10. Wanaka to Queenstown was more than an hour of drive, and it's a zigzag road. Queenstown will always be my number one favorite place in South Island to visit. Very lively, heaps of food options, stunningly beautiful, definitely an all-around season travel destination. But South Island have so much more to offer. Different places have its own unique specialties. It really depends on your personal preferences. Since this is not our first time in Queenstown and we're done exploring the place, we just chilled out and strolled around the area with lots of lots of lots of food trips. For our last accommodation, we stayed only one night here at Ramada Suites in Queenstown. It's a studio room. Smaller compared from our previous accommodations but it's complete with all the basic essential stuff. They have laundry which was very handy. I love the overlooking view as well. Lastly, it's so close to Queenstown Airport but in contrast, it's a bit far from the Queenstown CBD. Overall, my rate is 8 out of 10. Very nice for a short-term accommodation. Definitely, South Island is a must-travel destination. No regrets, a 100% recommendation. It was an unbeatable experience for both of us. Definitely will come back again for the third time. Till my next travel vlog, 
Hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much. Bye! Thank you.